Mahana Ramskar. This is Acharya Amit Agarwal, Mahavastu trainer and consultant, with you again today with an interesting topic on Prakriti. Prakriti is a magical five elements which plays an important role in Mahavastu. We will discuss that shortly. Give us a few minutes for people to join and then we start. Let's start. Prakriti, five elements. What's the difference between these two items? Prakriti is basically, we heard about three guna. Three guna is three gun or three key attributes of a people, of a person. What are these three guna? You might have heard me earlier mentioning about air, water, fire. In Ayurveda, you guys must have heard about Ayurveda. In Ayurveda, we have Vat, Pit, Kaf. Vat, Pit, Kaf, air, fire, water, they are same. Our whole body is basically made up of five elements or Panchabhuta. What are these Panchabhuta? Air, fire, water, space and earth. These three forms the total composition or five elements. And that's where it starts our today's journey is how these five elements plays a magical role in our life as well as in Mahavastu. In Mahavastu methodology, we work on 16 zones. Whenever you hear about 16 zones, it's nothing, it's just Mahavastu. Followed by five elements. Five elements, again, air, fire, water, space, and earth. Each of the 16 zones is categorized within these five elements. And each of these five elements have its own attributes and it plays a role in our life in the form of color. You might heard about saying, bring colors in your life. Without color, life is dull. These five elements represent the colors in each of our 16 life contexts. For example, when we talk about people is angry, very angry, what it represents? Fire. It means within a dwelling space, if we identify or notice each of the people living or each of the occupant or in that dwelling space is very fiery, always get irritated or angry. It means the fire zone of that dwelling place is imbalanced. Or if we see uh, an occupant, all the occupants in the house predominantly are very calm, quite relaxed. It means the water zone of that house is imbalanced. Interesting, isn't it? Yes. The attribute, if any of these elemental zones which is linked to different powers zone are imbalanced, whether it's high or low, that will be displayed in an attribute, in an attitude or the behavior of a person. And when we talk about behavior, it's an emotional behavior. I'm not talking here about psychology. I'm just talking about a brief background on how the different uh, things or different elements or different colors in our life plays an important role. Yes, having said that, 
we also need to incorporate the planetary influence from an astro chart in the life of a person. So yeah, it comes as a mixed package of your dwelling space, where you live in, what are the different zones, whether it's balanced or imbalanced, what are the elements within your dwelling space, whether it's balanced or unbalanced, and then it becomes an astro chart, like how different planet is causing and planetary influences in your life. That whole package represents you as a person. It represents in your behavior, in your attitude, in whatever you do in your daily life. So let's talk about these five elements. Fire. Let's start with fire. Fire represents its an energy. Whether a person is a fiery, if person is not fiery, it means that that person is inactive. It means water is imbalanced. Water is quite high in that person. Person is lethargic means water is high. It's imbalanced in an imbalanced state and fire is in a low energy in a lower imbalanced state. So that fire and water balance need to be um, brought in the place. Red represent fire. Red color. Any color in the red family, whether it's a pink, orange, red, they, are, they represent fire. So any of the Mahavastu zone, which is predominantly falls in the fire zone, if there's excess of red or if that zone is extended, you will see a person get irritated easily within, within a few seconds. How can you identify different zones and how these different zones are linked to these different elements? Yes, check my Vastu app. Download check my Vastu app on your phone and you will see like how the different zones are linked to different colors. Each of the color within the check my Vastu app represent different elements. So red represent fire, green or brown, represent air black or blue represent water white or silverish or grayish represent space and where it's a yellow or a beige color or a cream it represent earth earth it's also there in the center of the uh, house as well, which is basically bring the stability in our life. Now, when we talk about this is a five elements, but what are these five elements? Um, if we go and review our Veda, it always mentioned about three elements. People who have read Bhagavad Gita. They know there is always mention about three guna, not elements. It's guna, three guna. Rajas, tamas, and yes. So air, water, fire represent sata, rajas, tamas. And this three guna within our body, which we talk about three guna, when they become a, in a distorted state, it forms five elements. It's a combination of two guna to get an element. So what is this Rajas, Satav and Tamas? Rajas is fire. Tamas is water, Sata is air, air is knowledge, fire means go getting attitude, Tamas is in a relaxed state, 
from KB Sir um, research, the existence of this whole planet or of this whole world is predominantly based on this three guna. Everything, whatever you do, represents three guna. Take an example of a car. When car is standing, it's in a mobile, it's, it's um, uh, standing state, not moving, immobile, it is tamas. As soon as you switch on the engine, you're bringing in rajas or a fire. As soon as it starts moving, it turns into satav in a state. Similarly, matchstick. When matchstick is staying as a separately, it is nothing, it's just tamas. As soon as we light the matchstick, it causes a fire, with the friction it causes a fire and then when it starts burning, it becomes in a subtle state. How these five elements plays a role in our life, I, I think I have explained. But then, based on our Prakriti, the three Prakriti or three Guna, if there's no, if they are not in sync with your activity in any of these uh, five elements, you will see some adverse impact in your life. For example, you are in, you are fire person, you are rajas, fire is your primary guna, but if you sit and work or spend most of your time in a water zone or tamas zone, you will see your fire is going down, your energy level is going down. And you feel very irritated as soon as anything will happen, or any conversation will happen, you will feel very irritated because you are not able to work within your domain. Your domain is rajas because you are far fire person. So what we do in Mahavastu, what's the magic we do? We simply access the prakriti of a person, the guna of the person, and we assess the guna of the dwelling space as well. There's a calculation behind it how we find guna. So even a building has its own guna as well, it's Satavajas and Tamas. And then we just simply move that person out of the Tamas or the water space to a fire space. Means we reinstate a person in its own guna just by moving him or ensuring that he spent most of his time within within a day within a fire zone and then you will see a difference it will happen in the life i have done so many cases recently like um, last month i have just uh, concluded one of the case where a 25 year old man was feeling very low in energy and he was not um, working as per in its own state. I have simply moved, relocated his sleeping area or the bedroom from the thermos zone, from the water zone to a fire zone. And then immediately he just went overboard and he started um, we saw such a big difference that he went by his own and given a large presentation in front of 10 people, 10 experienced people with age group of more than 50 years. And he managed to secure a big business contract from, from that company. That's a difference it makes when a person goes back into its own space. Another, another example. One of my clients was complaining of severe body pain and she was feeling restless and not happy in whatever she was doing. 
she was low in energy. I did the same. I have relocated her living space from one zone to its own zone. And within a couple of days, she was she felt a difference in her life that she was upbeat and running and she was like, she was saying, Amitji, what you have done? I didn't feel that much energy in like last couple of years since I moved into this house. And just by moving my bedroom from one of the zone to another zone, I feel that I am back to my normal self. Yes, that's that's the magic of all this the study of five elements and the, and the three guna. And yes, that's the magic of Mahavastu. And that's the magic what KB Sir has given to all of us. Yes. Okay. I'll stop my today's um, um, discussion uh, over here only. If you have any question, please feel free to post your question in the comment box and I'll take it from there. And if you don't have any question, just be relaxed. Identify what is your primary guna and try to spend most of your time in that zone. And how you can identify that zone? Just go into Check My Vastu app and you will see there are five different colors. Each of the five colors represent the uh, attributes of the different elements. Just go and spend your time in that zone. If you can't spend time, at least keep your personal belonging in one of that zone and see how it will make a difference. If you want to understand what, what your property is, feel free to drop a note to, to us, any of the Mahavastu Acharya. You can reach out to us by logging into www nvtrainer.net and book your free yogdan with any of our acharya and we will go through with few questions to identify your prakriti and then we'll tell you like what your prakriti is and where do you need to spend most of your time okay let me take a few questions from the comment box and then i'll conclude today's session Correct. Um, okay, no comment in the comment box. Um, I I think there have been some issue with the link uh, for for today's uh, FB FB uh, live session link. I'll speak to the team and we'll sort it out on the next. Okay. All right. You all have a great weekend ahead, and I'll see you again same time next week. Thank you. Till then, take care. Namaskar.